Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to see if you can pass these 10 genius tests. Well, you're about to find out just how intelligent you are based on these tests. These are tests that can spot perception and thinking outside the box. And these are tests that all geniuses get correct. Each test means you're pretty smart. But if you get all 10 right, then be sure to tell me in the poll at the end, as you may be a genius. But before we get into it, why not do a genius thing by subscribing and pressing the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 is Hidden Image. So this test measures two things about you. First off, it measures how perceptive you are, but it also measures things like your analysis and critical thinking. It's super easy, just take a look at this painting and tell me what you see. I'll put a 10 second timer up. So from now you have 10 seconds to tell me what you see in this image. So after 10 seconds, you should have had a good look. But did you spot what the image is of? Now, 90% of people say it's of a woman doing makeup in the mirror, and some say it's of a woman talking to another woman on a table. If you look at the clothing and hair the woman's wearing, it's actually two different women. It may look like a mirror, but this isn't the case. However, that's not the only thing in this image. Those with an eager eye will spot the image is actually of a skull. The two women's hair make up the eyes of the skull, and the shape of what you may have thought was a mirror is actually the skull. This is something most people don't notice, but if you got it, then well done, give yourself one point. Next up is Iceberg. So this is a logic puzzle that any genius should be able to solve. The question is simple and is based around an iceberg. A piece of ice from above the water level has broken off an iceberg. It goes underwater and then it melts. But the question is, will the water level change? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to answer it right now. Anyone who's a math genius should have got this. That is because you can answer this question using Archimedes' principle. If you think about it, ice and water weigh the same. Some think that ice is heavier, but that's simply because it's a solid, not a liquid. So at first the water level was lowered, but once the ice melts in the water it will turn into the same weight. So that's why the water level won't change. If you're a genius you should have got this right and said the water level won't change. If you did, then give yourself a pat on the back and one point. But if you got this wrong, there's no shame. We have more questions to see if you're a genius or not. Next up is circles. So this is a very old test to see if you're a genius or not. And it's likely the simplest one on this list. It's all about how perceptive and intelligent you are. All you need to do is check out this image. As you can see, there's a grey and white grid on a black background. And on that grid is a green cylinder. But what is the colour of the two circles on the grid? I'm going to give you 10 seconds on the clock to answer. See if you can work it out. Did you get it? Now, most people think that these circles are different colours. I mean, if you look at them, one of them looks very bright while the other does not. But you may be amazed to know that these circles are the same colour. Just check me out on Photoshop showing you that they're the same colour. I'm simply copying across these colours and as you can see, they blend right into each other. It's hard to believe that they're the same colour, but why do they look so different? Well, first off, the cylinder is casting a shadow. This instantly makes the circle stand out more. But also, you need to look at the grid. The dark circle is surrounded by the grey dark colour. This makes that orange look like a darker shade, while the other orange is on a lighter white background. It's crazy that these colours are the same, but if you have a very lateral and logical mind, you will work this out. And if you did, then congrats, give yourself one more genius point. Next up is Hidden Image. So we've already seen one image where something was hidden. That was the skull hidden amongst the two women. Well guess what, there's something hiding in this image. There's actually a piece of electronics hiding in this photo. But what is it? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds on the clock to work it out. And if you get this one right, then you're very perceptive and you have a great IQ. So your 10 seconds starts now. So, what popular piece of electronics is hiding in this image? Now, most people think it's a heated car seat, or some people say it's the seat belt or something like that. But no, this has nothing to do with the car at all. If you look closely on the seat, there's actually an iPad in a case. This is something most people simply don't spot. After the 10 second timer, you may have seen this. But admit it, it did take you a short while. That is, if you got it at all. If you did get it, then well done. But if you didn't get it, then there's no shame, as it's very hard to see. It's crazy how this iPad case blends perfectly into the seat. But if you manage to differentiate the iPad case from the seat, then well done. Give yourself one more point. Next up is Boat. 
So, take a look at this genius riddle. This is a logic riddle, which really boosts your intelligence if you get it right. As you can see, there's a boat, a car, and an airplane. Underneath the car is the letter L, underneath the airplane is the letter A. But what letter goes underneath the boat? I'll give you a hint, it's not B. Remember guys, you have to use logic and knowledge to get this one right. I'll put 10 seconds up on the clock right now, so try and work it out. Your 10 seconds is up. Did you work out what letter goes under the boat? Most people think because A is under airplane, B should be under boat. But then why would L be under car? Well, the answer to this riddle lies in where you find these modes of transportation. L for the car stands for land, and A for the airplane stands for air. So the correct letter under the boat should have been W. This of course stands for water, which is what boats go on. If you got this right, then well done. You're very logical and intelligent, and you can give yourself one point. Well, if you didn't get it right, don't worry. You still have a chance to redeem yourself. Next up is lines. So this has to be the most simple image you've seen all day. Take a look at this image, it's simply of two lines. Now I want to ask you a really obvious sounding question, which line is longer? No pulling out a ruler and cheating, only you doing it with your eyes and brain will allow you to get this one correct. I'll put 10 seconds on the clock now, so see if you can work it out. So guys, now it's time for you to answer, which one is longer? Did you know that 80% of people say the vertical line is longest? But they would be wrong. In fact, neither of these lines are longer. If you have a fantastic eye and brain, you'll see that both of these lines are the same size. Now, this may seem impossible, but I can assure you guys, it's true. The simple fact is, vertical lines look longer than horizontal lines. That is why when people want to look slimmer, they wear vertical lines. This is because it makes you look taller and thinner, as opposed to wider and smaller. So, if there's any plus-size people trying to look slimmer, then here's a tip for you. But either way, if you got this one correct, then give yourself one point. Next up is Pyramid. So, do you think you're logical and have a good eye? Well, this test will prove it. Take a look at this pyramid. Now, you have a few options to choose from, but which of these options is the top view of the pyramid? This may seem similar, but it does take a while to work out. And did you know that 70% of people get this wrong, meaning if you do get it, then you're very smart. Your 10 seconds starts now, try and work it out. Did you guys solve this pyramid riddle? If you did, then who knows, maybe you're so smart you can work out how they built the real pyramids. But let's get on to the answer. The actual correct answer here was C. Most people assume it's B, however they would be mistaken. This is all about perception and logic, so if you got this, then give yourself one point. Coming up next is apples. So this is a very fun and tricky riddle, and if you get this right then I will be impressed. Here we go, there are 5 apples in a basket, and they need to be divided among 5 people. How can you divide the 5 apples so that each person has an apple and one apple stays in the basket? The key to this question is not to overthink it, so I'll give you 10 seconds starting now. Did you guys get this one right? Chances are you didn't, as most people get this wrong. The answer is give four people an apple and give one person an apple in the basket. This way the five people have one apple each, but one apple still stays in the basket. This is a very obvious and tricky question, and I'm sure if you got this one wrong then you're face palming right now at how easy it really was. This one simply requires you not to overthink it, but if you did overthink it then I don't blame you as most other questions on this list do require you to overthink. Next up is hidden animal. So we've seen images with hidden things inside them, but this one is a hidden animal. But can you see the other animal hiding within the frog? If you've already seen it, then you're a genius, but I'm gonna give you a 10 second timer anyway. So guys, did you find the hidden animal within the frog? If you found it, then well done. And I guarantee once you've seen the other animal, you cannot unsee it. In case you guys haven't worked it out yet, I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees and you should be able to see it. If you haven't seen it by now, then come on guys, it's clearly a horse. As you can see, depending on how you rotate this image, it can either be a frog or a horse. If you got this right, then give yourself a point. But if not, then hurry up and get smart, because we've only got one more left. Next up we have arrows. So this is kind of similar to the lines question from before, except this one is slightly more difficult. As you can see there are three arrows. 
All you guys need to do is rank these arrows in order from longest to shortest. I'll give you 10 seconds starting right now. So guys, have you put these arrows in order yet? Most people say the middle arrow is the longest and then the other two are the same, but those people would be wrong. In reality, all of the lines in the arrows are the same length. The thing that misses for this illusion is the arrows. They make them all seem way longer and way shorter, but in reality they're the exact same length. If you don't believe me, this is them all stacked up. As you can see, they're the same length, and if you got this right, then well done. You are a genius. But guys, the real question is, how many of these did you get right? Use the poll in the top right corner to vote for how many you got right. And guys, I'm even going to tell you what it means depending on how many of these you got right. If you got zero right, then you must have not been paying attention. You should try and do this intelligence test again, or do one of my other intelligence tests on the channel. Who knows, maybe you'll get better luck. If you got 1 to 3 right, then you're getting there, but you might need a little more IQ practice. If you got 4 to 6 right, then you're about average intelligence, so well done. If you got 7 to 9 right, then you're above average intelligence. And if you got all 10 right, then you're either cheating or you're a true genius. I haven't seen a single person to get all 10 of these right, but if you did, then well done. Maybe you ought to reply for Mensa. If you want more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what you waiting for, subscribe to Top 10s.